sir the reason is uh, the ability of any component to uh, pass the current to flow through it depend on its impedance uh, or uh, in case of capacitor we call it a uh, reactance so uh, the reactance of capacitor is given by 1 by 2 pi fc that is the reactance is inversely proportional to the frequency of the signal so in case of a dc source the frequency is zero so uh, 1 by 0 is infinite so the reactance is infinite so it is providing a infinite uh, resistance reactance to the uh, voltage source so it won't uh, allow the current to pass it through where in case of a ac source we have a fi finite uh, reactance because f is not zero so it will it will allow the current to pass it through so uh, i am writing here the formula is xc is 1 by 2 pi fc and sir we can understand this phenomena by using one more equation that is uh, we know q is equal to cv and i is equal to dq by dt and uh, c dv by dt so for our dc source voltage is constant so dv by dt is zero so that's why current will be the full bridge rectifier circuit is used for converting the ac signal into a dc signal it has four diodes this is the diagram of the full bridge rectifier it has four diodes d1 d2 d3 and d4 and we have applied here a ac source which has a frequency this waveform so during the positive half cycle that is from this duration to this duration this terminal is at higher potential compared to this potential and during the negative half cycle this terminal is at higher potential compared to this terminal and uh, as you see here we have applied the ac voltage between these two terminals now what happen uh, as this potential is higher during the positive half cycle this d1 will conduct and d2 is reversed by so it won't conduct and uh, then current will flow from here and goes to rl then come back here then it will go to d4 uh, because it it won't go to d3 because this is at the lower potential and this one is a higher potential so it will uh, go through this path because here we have higher potential here we have lower potential so current will go from this d4 diode and then come back to this point so uh, we can see the waveform input and output so this one is an input waveform so during the positive half cycle we are getting a positive waveform here between these two points as shown in this black waveform and uh, during the negative si uh, half cycle what will happen this one this point is at higher potential so d2 will conduct then current will go from here then uh, it will go to rl then come back here then it will go to d3 then come back to this input again so uh, again we have seen this one has positive uh, waveform so uh, during this negative cycle we are getting this positive cycle at these two points okay so this is the working this is the function of these four diodes now come now come to this capacitor so what this capacitor is doing this capacitor is smoothing its waveform so uh, like first is getting charged to the full value then uh, during this uh, cycle so it is at the maximum charge but it is start discharging to this level then it again start charging and then come back to here so this is a ripple so uh, uh, this is my this is my final output which one is a almost like a dc source this green wave form so it's like a dc and we can further smoothen this uh, voltage into a constant dc voltage using a voltage regulator like 7805 this sampling theorem states that if we need to digitalize any analog or continuous signal then we have to take its sample 
at the sampling rate which is greater than or equal to twice twice its frequency for example if we have given a sine wave of frequency 50 hertz then we have to take at least or greater than 100 samples per second so consider a case of a signal having frequency 50 hertz that means in one second we have 50 seconds like this now uh, consider a one cycle first from here to here see if I have to take its sample so that I can reconstruct it and to get all its information or I can represent it uh, almost perfectly I have to take the minimum number of samples so that I can represent it, it properly so uh, suppose I take I have only 10 sample of this waveform like this then if if I have to reconstruct it or output this waveform then what I will get here this signal this is no way a representation of this sine wave ok so we have to take at least 100 samples so that I can properly represent this waveform so if this is a waveform and I am taking 100 samples so here, 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 here like 100 samples then what I will get here a proper almost proper sine wave and if I take more than 100 samples then I will get more perfect this input uh, now the thing is it states that we have to take the number of samples twice the greater or equal to twice its frequency so we have to take 100 samples per second so this duration for the 50 milli, uh, 50 hertz is 20 millisecond only it is not that we have to take sample 100 samples here for one cycle we have to take 100 samples per second so what we will do we will take a uh, we will take sample at the interval of the time period so uh, I have taken first sample here then after this time period I have taken this sample then again I have taken this sample then I have taken this sample so I have taken lots of samples in a one second and I know I am getting all these points not in 20 millisecond time I am getting at one second time only but I am getting all the points so I can reconstruct it sine wave and represent it at as this so this states our nucleus sampling the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller is that microprocessor has only CPU central processing unit uh, it has only processing power it doesn't have RAM, ROM and other peripheral features the example of the microprocessors are Intel Premium uh, 1234 or i3, i5 and microprocessor is used in, com in computers, in laptops, in notepads etc whereas in case of microcontroller it has processing power, it has RAM, it has ROM and other peripheral features so it's like a mini computer and the example of microcontroller are uh, like we have 80 mega 8 or we have big microcontroller uh, it use it has uh, many uh, applications like it is used in digital weighing machine it is used in uh, washing machine it is used in uh, microwave oven robotics and other automation projects